question. All right, the following is a video of the uh, lower extremity muscles uh, that you should, and pathways of muscles that you should know for Criders 2A class fall 2012. This is not a substitute for you studying the, the muscles on your own. Um, the muscles that are up here above the inguinal ligament, this is our landmark. So the femoral region is down below the inguinal ligament and there's two muscles above it that make a muscle down below. That's why I mentioned them. This is the psoas minor and major. This is the iliacus muscle. Those two muscles, or three muscles, combine into one, and that's, they form the muscle right here below the inguinal ligament that's, that's lateral to the, uh, the femoral artery, nerve, and vein. Artery, nerve, and vein would be our landmark here, uh, and medial to the artery, nerve, and vein would be the pectineus muscle, and lateral to that would be the iliopsoas muscle. Uh, just lateral to that is the attachment of two muscles that form a V, like this here, one of them inserting into the iliotibial tract along the uh, side of the leg down here, that iliotibial tract uh, compartmentalizes the lateral thigh, and it's the insertion of the tensor fascia latte muscle. Uh, just medial to that and anterior is the muscle that allows, the longest muscle of your body, the Taylor's muscle, allows you to cross your leg, uh, one heel over the other, and bring your leg up over your knee. Uh, this is the sartorius muscle here. It goes from the ASIS with the tensor fascia latte all the way to the medial side of the, uh, of the knee joint. Uh, just underneath that, if we take that muscle out, move that muscle, we have the quadricep muscles that are sitting underneath this iliotibial here and is made up, as the name implies, of four different muscles. Made up of the rectus femoris, the vastus lateralis, the vastus medialis, and underneath the rectus femoris, the uh, vastus intermedius that's deep to it. Okay, so if we take off tensor fascia lata, this is rectus femoris coming off and there's the vastus intermedius right there. Those four muscles uh, are the quadricep muscles their action flexes the thigh and automatically extends the lower leg with it. Okay, so beneath those quadriceps, or medial to those quadriceps, we have, as we already said, medial to the artery, nerve, and vein, the pectineus muscle. Just below that is the uh, adductor group. We have the adductor magnus, um, which is here, the adductor uh, longus, which is there, and the adductor brevis, which doesn't have a name on it or a number on it. Sitting superficial on that uh, group of muscles, the adductors, which come from the pubic symphysis all the way down to the uh, adductor tubercle on the humerus, a medial epicondyle, we have the gracilis. So the sartorius and gracilis crisscross and are superficial over all the muscles of this anterior compartment of the, uh, of the thigh. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much each of them other than the patellar tendon, uh, which is the sesamoid bone attachment. So a quick review, we have lateral to the artery, nerve, and vein, the iliopsoas, medial, the pectineus, and adductor group, and gracilis. Uh, just lateral to the iliopsoas would be the attachment of the quadriceps and, or the rectus in the quads and the uh, vastus lateralis. It also is the attachment of the sartorius tensor fascia lata into the iliotibial tract along that side. The quadricep group right here, which is antagonistic to the hamstrings posteriorly, would have the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and the vastus intermedius deep to that, uh, all terminating in the patellar tendon down here as a sesamoid bone. Posterior on the, uh, on the thigh, uh, if we take it from this uh, medial compartment um, and come around this side, there's the, the adductor magnus and brevis. Right here in the back we have the hamstring muscles, three of them. Uh, two of those muscles look like a hot dog bun and a hot dog. The hot dog itself would be the semitendinosus and the bun on either side is the membranosus with the biceps femoris sitting most lateral out here by the iliotibial tract. And then we have up here above those the gluteus maximus. This one right here, this nice rounded muscle that I'm taking off, and underneath that, the medius and minimus, uh, both right here. These muscles we don't need to know. These are the obturator muscles, uh, and there's the sciatic nerve down the back of the leg. We'll be dissecting that out. Okay, as we get to the lower leg, the lower leg should be learned in a, uh, in a counterclockwise fashion. The best way to learn it is um, going from the tibia that we see here, um, pictured or right here on the bone, right? So if we go down here and I'm holding that, uh, I would go counterclockwise around the lower leg from the tibia itself. You can see the shin bone right here. And I would go counterclockwise around and back to that shin bone to learn these muscles. It's the same order that's in your uh, boxes um, in, the, uh, in the, the lab from uh, 113 to 117. First, you have the tibialis anterior, then you have the extensor digitorum going to each toe. Uh, lateral to the extensor digitorum is a group of three muscles, either called the peroneus, longus, tertius, and brevis, or the fibularis, which is an easier way to remember it because it sits on the fibula laterally. This is longus, 
Uh, there's tertius and brevis is the short one. Brevis in Latin means short. Uh, after I get to those fibularis muscles, I turn around the back side and I'm at the calcaneal tendon, which is two muscles. Deep is the soleus and sitting on its surface is the gastrocnemius, both heads. And the gastrocnemius looks like so. There's gastrocnemius and deep to it on either side, making that calcaneal tendon is the soleus. As I come around medial, I'm going to have the flexor digitorum opposite the extensor digitorum other side. And if I take all of the muscles off the lower leg, I see the tibialis posterior. That's all of them. Study. Okay.